This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. The X-Zone radio and TV show is largely an opinion talk show. All opinions, comments, or statements of fact expressed by Rob McConnell's guests are strictly their own and are not to be construed as those of the X-Zone radio and TV show or in any manner endorsed by Rob McConnell, Relmar McConnell Media Company, Talkstar Radio Network, its affiliated stations, or employees. All Hit Radio. Welcome to the X-Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. And welcome back to the Exxon, everyone. We're coming to you from our studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, on the Talk Star Radio Network, Exxon Broadcast Network, UK High Definition Radio, Euro High Definition Radio, Star Cable, and our growing family of broadcast affiliates right across Canada, the United States, Central America, the Caribbean, South America, the Pacific Rim, Asia, India, Africa, and Europe. Worldwide toll-free, 1-800-610-7035. Email exxon at exxonradiotv.com on MSN Messenger, exxonradiotv at hotmail.com and our website, www.exxonradiotv.com. Just a little reminder that this coming Friday, September the 9th, the X Chronicles 9-11 Tribute Edition will be available online with the compliments of the Exxon Radio TV show, the X Chronicles newspaper, and our advertisers at X Chronicles dash newspaper dot com forward slash publisher. My guest this hour is Dale Kazmerich. He is the president of the Ghost Research Society and director of Excursions into the Unknown Inc., the only year round ghost tour of haunted Chicagoland locations. Dale has been actively investigating ghosts, hauntings, and poltergeist phenomenon since nineteen seventy five and is active in a number of organizations including the American Association for Electronic Voice Phenomena, Society for the Investigation of the Unexplained International Fortean Organization, and the prestigious Ghost Club of England. His website, Ghost Research Society, is ghostresearch.org, is one of the most active of its kind anywhere in the world. Dale has appeared in numerous books, publications, newspapers, and periodically periodicals, periodically periodicals there's a good one for you uh, he's been a guest on oprah encounter sightings the other side rolanda magic uh, mysteries magic and miracles exploring the unknown and other uh, shows both radio and television he's the author of five books and once again his website is ghostresearch.org and dale kasmerick welcome back to the x zone how are you dale fine how are you i'm doing great thanks uh, it's funny the guest before you was um, uh, Deidre, Deidre Marie Capone, the the niece of uh, famed Al Capone, talking about Chicago. 
And here we're talking to you about Chicago, ghost hauntings, and things that go bump in the night. What happened in 1975 uh, to act as a catalyst to get you investigating the paranormal? Well, nothing in particular. Just uh, uh, this interest of mine goes all the way back to uh, childhood, I guess. My parents telling me ghost stories when I was a youngster. And I guess uh, back in 1975, uh, we began to uh, get more actively involved uh, searching out uh, locations in the Chicagoland area with a group of like-minded people mm-hmm. that uh, started to put together what was loosely called the Ghost Trackers Club back then, uh, uh, back in 1975 and 76. And it was a, uh, just as I mentioned, a, a loosely associated group of like-minded people that uh, we're interested in uh, the paranormal, ghost research, uh, and uh, looking into stories here around the Chicagoland area. And uh, eventually, in 1977, uh, we, we officially sprang the group, um, and it's been going on uh, ever since. Uh, in 1982, I took over as president of the group, uh, changed the name to Ghost Research Society, which is more indicative of what we actually do uh, in ghost research. And... Um, that during that during that early time uh, when we were starting our group, there was really not really a group here in the Midwest mm. or in Illinois that actually uh, was dedicated to ghost research investigations. And uh, we thought that would be a good thing to start here in this uh, the Midwest region. So we kind of uh, look into reports here in the Chicagoland area, northwest Indiana, southern Wisconsin. And uh, we do travel a little bit. Um, around the state here. All right, Dale, we've got to take a commercial break. Please stand by. Our nation, Dale Kaczmarek, is our guest. He's the president of the Ghost Research Society, and his website is www.ghostresearch.org. My name's Rob McConnell. This is the Exxon. Back in two. Don't go away. Modern Esoteric, Beyond Our Senses by Brad Olson, consummates the lifeology story about where humanity originates. It is the lost continents, the primitive wisdom, the mythos of creation, and the rethinking of ancient history as we are taught in academia. There is much more to the story than what we have been told. As this is the first book in the Esoteric series, Modern Esoteric starts at the beginning of time and accelerates up to this modern age. Future Esoteric is book two in the series and takes a forward-looking position ahead of today with an open and honest examination of the ET issue and various unexplained phenomena. To discover the writings of author Brad Olson, visit www.bradolson.com. That's www.bradolson.com. Named one of the world's greatest psychics, Elizabeth Joyce is now giving readings worldwide via Skype. Elizabeth Joyce is recognized for her clairvoyant ability to help find missing persons, her analysis of dreams, past life regression work, mediumship, and her accurate predictions. Elizabeth has been a frequent guest on the X-Zone radio show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, now for several years. For an appointment with Elizabeth Joyce, call 201-934-8986 or Skype at Elizabeth.Joyce. And for more information, you can always visit Elizabeth Joyce online at www.new-visions.com. a disease that you would like to alleviate through a natural means? Have you been contacted by angels, ghosts, or even extraterrestrials and want to validate these experiences? Or would you simply like to speak with someone who can help you find your life's purpose? I'm Dr. Joseph Mara, and I'm offering my services free of charge for first-time clients contacting me during the month of April. These free consultations include angel card readings, guided meditations, life coaching, and energy healing. 
If you have always wanted to explore these types of experiences, but were skeptical, or simply could not afford them, then take advantage of this free special offer. Contact me through my website, a guiding light, spelled L-I-T-E dot com, to schedule your consultation today. Until then, I offer you love, light, and laughter. Yippee-i-yay. Riding out one dark and windy day Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way When all at once a mighty bunch of red-eyed cows he saw Plowing through the ragged sky And up a cloudy draw If the I Next on Nation, uh, Dale Kaczmarek is our special guest this hour. He's the president of the Ghost Research Society. And uh, his website is www.ghostresearch.org. Dale, since 1975, have there been many advances made using the new technological equipment that's available as to, as to identifying what a ghost are and actually proving their existence? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when I when we first started back in the uh, uh, the mid nineteen seventies, there was really uh, a complete absence of equipment. Uh, uh, when I started, I started with a, a, a basically a cassette tape recorder. Uh, if you wanted to use an EMF meter, the only thing that was available was a, basically a compass that I had back then uh, to uh, pick up magnetic fields. A compass would point to true north unless mm-hmm. it came. Cl- in contact with a strong magnetic field that would it would deflect in the direction of a field uh and then later on the camcorders came into existence but not even the, the night shot camcorders that that most people use today these were zero lux camcorders that he had to use some sort of uh, uh candlelight available uh i've seen a lot of uh, big advances in technologies uh ever since uh, i think Beginning about 1984, when the, when the movie Ghostbusters came out, I really think that was a turning point, in, in, my, in my personal opinion, in where this field began uh, going and turning to, because it really opened a lot of people's minds to ghosts and this field. It brought a lot of people out of the closet, so to speak, with their stories, because even though it was um, uh, a farce uh, on the paranormal, it was a fantasy, it was a comedy, it really kind of uh, allowed people to, uh, in my opinion, uh, tell their stories without having a fear of ridicule and uh, laughter, you know, cast back in their back in sure. their direction. So what do we know about ghosts today? Well, um, a lot of things we do, we do work on our theories, but uh, the theories are pretty, you know, universal in a lot of different uh, teams that uh, I've worked with and uh, a lot of the literature that, that's written out there in books and so forth that, Ghosts usually are there because of a specific purpose or usually due to an untimely death. And that's usually one uh, repeatable scenario that seems to often play into a lot of these stories. There's some sort of uh, untimely death, whether it be a murder, a suicide, uh, a violent car crash, something very sudden, very untimely that the ghost, uh, the person's life force was ripped away very suddenly or very violently or untimely and the person doesn't know that he or she is, has been passed, has passed away. And uh, Hollywood has done a very nice job in recent years in movies like Ghost, mm-hmm. Patrick Flazy and the others, and White Noise and, and Shudder, uh, depicting ghosts in that exact scenario uh, that later in the movie realizing that they were ghosts, but not initially realizing that they in fact were ghosts. And there are other you know, reasons that ghosts can come back. Sometimes it's because that they're emotionally or um, physically connected to the place that they died or uh, connected to persons that they left behind or sometimes coming back to give a message or to see something get done or discovered. You yourself, have you ever seen a ghost? 
Yes, uh, on several different occasions. Um, when I was uh, doing uh, research uh, very recently here, uh, 